So now we're going to proceed with the properties of sigma notation. So for us to identify the properties of sigma notation, these are the properties. There are six. We're, we're given with six. So first one is if it is from 1 to n and it's a summation of i, the formula for the answer is n times n plus 1 over 2. So kung ganito ang form, from 1 to n, ganito na lang ang formula. So example for this one, if summation of i from 1 to 3. So ang formula na lang yan, hindi mo na kailangan na sulat pa yung 1 plus 2, expand pa yung summation. But you could simply use this formula. Na instead na mag, di ba, 1, 1, 2, 3. So 1 plus 2 plus 3, that's answer is... 7. So instead of you doing this, you can simply use this one. So this is almost the same na. Di ba ito ang n? Kasi ang n kung anong nasa taas. So these are n. So n n which is 3 3 plus 1 it's 3 plus 1 divided by 2 which is equal to 3 times 3 plus 1, 4 over 2, which is equal to 12 divided by 2, which is equal to 6. So 6. Now we know na mali pala ang answer natin dito. So kasi 1 plus 2 plus 3 is 6. Mali pala ang answer ko. So this is the formula. So this is the formula ng n times n plus 1 over 2. Kasi mas mahirap na lang ba kung 100 dito sa, sa taas. So, ibig sabihin, hanggang 100 yung sisulat mo. However, if you're going to use only this formula, it would be a lot easier. So, another property is this one. So, summation of C, F of I, from M to N. So, gawin mo lang dyan, ilabas mo lang yung, ilabas mo lang yung C. So, ilalabas mo lang yung C. So, ganito na lang gagawin. So, magiging itong 3 ilalagay mo na lang siya before ng sigma notation or summation i is equal to 2 for i so that's that's the property about so ito pala siyang 3i equal pala siya sa 3 summation of i so next is itong parang ito siya parang distributive property na i-distribute mo ang summation dito i-distribute mo rin ang summation dito so ganito siya so, it's a distribute mo siya na ganito plus summation of g of i. So, kapag ganito, example, it's the same as summation of i is equal to 2, 3, 2x plus summation of 1i from 2 equal to 2, 2, 3. So, i-distribute mo lang yung summation. So, that's the property all about. Next, kapag summation of c... Ang C is a constant number siya, I from M to N. So, ang mangyayari, ganito na lang ang solving. C is equal to N, C times N minus M plus 1. So, kapag ganito, 5C open N is 4 minus ka ng M sa so baba 2 plus 1 close. So, ganyan ang how to solve those. So, 5 will let us solve 4 minus 2 2 plus 1, 3. So, the answer is 15. So, summation of 5 from 2 to 4, the answer is 15. Next, summation of C from 1 to N. Kapag ang difference dito, dito, it can ang, ang summation may start with any number. But dito, kapag nag-start ang summation from 1 until n, so ganito na lang ang formula. For example, dito, ang kaibahan dito is nag-start siya ng 2, dito nag-start siya ng 1. So gagamitin mo lang to siya kapag nag-start ang, ang summation sa so 1. Nag-start ang value ng i sa so 1. So what you're going to do here is 5 times, what is n? 4. So the answer is 20. Instead of going to use this, you can simply use this. 5 times 4 is equal to 20. Next example, kapag may i squared. Kapag may i squared, the answer is 
What is n? Again, kapag nag-start lang ito sa 1 hanggang 3, kapag iba na ito, kapag hindi na ito 1, we cannot use this property. So, um, answer nito, n, which is 3 ang n, yung sa taas, ang n, 3, 3 plus 1, 2, 3 plus 1, over 6. So, we can solve this. 3, 3 plus 1, 4, 2 times 3, 6 plus 1, 7 over 6 is equal to 3 times 4, 12, 12 times 7, that's 70 plus 14, 84 over 6. 84 over 6 is equal to 14. So that's how it is. So we're going to use that formula to solve this this we're going to use this properties para isolve pala itong given na na sigma notation so we're going to solve this so summation of 4i minus 20 from 1i is is from 1 to 20 so first property di ba ito siya pwede mo yung ihiwalay i-distribute yung sigma notation sa kanila so sigma notation i is equal to 1 20 4i minus sigma notation i is equal to 1 20 20 so that's first next yung second property kapag may constant pwede mong ilabas kapag may constant pwede mo siyang ilabas so itong 4 constant yan siya pwede mong ilabas doon so 4 summation of i 1 20 i minus Summation of i, 1, 20, 20. As you notice, i na lang dito. So, pwede mo to siyang gamitin. Pwede mong gamitin ito. So, it is equal to n, n plus 1 over 2. So, ito siya. Equal siya. So, kopyahin mo mo ng 4. Equal to siya. What is n in here? The n is 20. Ang n dito is 20. So, n... 20, 20 plus 1, 21 over 2. This is the formula. Close. Minus. As you notice also, this is constant. So, kung constant, ito C. Pwede ito siya, pwede ito. However, because ang I is equals to 1, so ito na siyang gagamitin natin. This is number 5. So, the formula is CN. So, CN... Ang C, N is C, which is, ano yung C? That's 20 times N na 20 ren So, we could start. We could cancel this out. Magiging 2 na yan siya. 2 times 20, or 2 times 20 is 40. 40 times 21. 40 times 21. 840. 0, 4, 0, 8. So, 840. So, 840 minus 400. So, the answer is 2, no, 440. So, this is the answer. Next, this is a lot more complicated. So, kapag ganito ang given. So, kapag ganyan ang given, ang una mo nung gagawin is, you multiply this one so that it would be easier. So, i, i is equal from 1 to 10. So, FOIL. So, yan muna. 10i squared. Ito. Plus 20i. Ito. Plus 6i. Plus 3 times 2i is 6i. Tapos 5 times 5i times 4 is 20i. Plus 3 times 3 times 4 na is plus 12. Pwede mo pang isimplify. i is equal to 1. 10 Simplify, simplify mo yan, i squared plus 20 plus 6, it's 26i plus 12. We're going to have the distributive property, yung distribute. Ito siya. So, distribute mo, distribute mo yung i, yung summation pala. 10, 10i squared plus summation of i is equal to 1, 10, 26i plus summation of i is equal to 110, 
12 is equal to Ilabas mo yung 10 sa labas 10 Summation of i is equal to 1 10 i squared Plus Labas yung 26 1 10 i Plus summation of Wala kang ilalabas dyan Kasi constant na lang So this one as you notice, kapag may i squared, ganito ang gagamitin ng formula. Ito ang n, yung sa taas, 10. Kopyahin mo muna itong 10. Lahat ng n, palitan mo ng 10. So, 10 plus 10 plus 1, 11. Plus 2 times 10, 20 plus 1, 21 over 6. Plus 26. I. Kapag may i, ano nga ang formula na gagamitin? Ito siya. So, ang n magiging 10. So, 10 plus 10 plus 1, 11 over, over 2. Over 2. Plus, yung may constant lang, ganito ang gagamitin kapag constant lang, diba? So, magiging, ano siya? 12 times 12 times n kasi from 1 to siya, 1 to 10. So, 1 to 10. So, times mo lang siya ng n. So, next, let's simplify. 10 times 10 times 11, 110, 110 times 21, 0, 1, 1, 0, 2, 2. So, 2, 3, 1, 0. 2, 3, 1, 0 over 6. Plus 26, 110 over 2. Plus 120. Pwede mo yung isimplify para mas madali lang. So, ito magiging, divide mo by 2, magiging 5, magiging 3. So, ang 230 times mo ng 5. 0, 5, 15, carry 1, 11. 1, 1, 5, 5, 0, over 3. Plus, pwede mo na itong simplify, divide mo by 2, magiging 1, ito magiging 13. So, ang 110, it times mo ng 13. 0, 3, 3, 1, 1, 0, 1, 4, 30. 1, 4, 30 plus 120. So, ito siya. Divide mo para mas madali. Or, we'll just use that as fraction. Plus, 140, 1, 4, 30 plus 120. It's 1, 5, 50. So, to add this, denominators fraction pehin mo yan 11550 or you could simply use calculator tapos ito it times so it's 5 16 carry 1 4 so pag 1550 it times mo nang 3 kan itong answer so kung i plus mo yan sila 0 10 carry 1 12 carry 1 6 1 Three. So this is the answer for this sigma notation. I hope we are right.